Esa soy yo antes y después de experimentar la biotensegridad. Y bueno, ¿qué es la biotensegridad? Para poder hablar de ella, primero hablaremos un poquito de fascias. Las fascias son tejidos que están dentro de nuestro cuerpo que asimilan como si fuera una red que conecta y envuelve absolutamente todo. Estos tejidos nos ayudan a mantener nuestra forma y dentro de la biomecánica los científicos han estado estudiando cómo el cuerpo no se mueve como antes se describía, a través de palancas en donde el hueso mueve al músculo de una manera aislada, sino que ahora se puede comprender mucho más por conocer a estos tejidos miofaciales. Por ejemplo, aquí en este modelo de biotensegridad, mientras más gana en pronación del antebrazo, que es el, el video de abajo, mayor se hace la pinza de una manera natural y no por hacer la pinza en sí misma con los dedos. So this is a tensegrity structure. It was my great good fortune to work and study with Buckminster Fuller uh, early in my life before I became a body worker. And he was the fellow who developed the geometry. Kenneth Snelson, the artist, first started making these kinds of structures. What I'd like you to notice about these is that the Uh, dowels, the bones of this structure, if you will, are floating in space and they are held in space by the balance of the elastics, the muscles and the fascia, the myofascia, if we were doing an analogy to the body. So these structures, we're not used to looking at structures like this. This is similar to a balloon, maybe. Um, but otherwise, we're used to structures that are continuous compression, like houses. So we structured our body as if it were a continuous compression structure too. We think the head sits on the neck and the head and the neck sit on the torso and that it's like a stack of bricks all the way down to the ground. But in fact, the bones, well, at least we could consider it this way, the bones float inside the soft tissue. And when you start uh, seeing the body this way, you see a lot of things. You see how the problem in the hip can really be founded in the arch, that the problem in this side of the neck is down at the bottom of the ribcage on the other side, because you start seeing how the interrelationships of things start working in the body. So Eiderolf used to say, where you think it is, it ain't. And this tensegrity gives you a model where you can see, oh, if this pulls over here because the whole structure gives into it, the pain might be over here somewhere. And uh, we're looking for ways of modeling this that would be predictive so that we could say, okay, if you have this kind of problem, then we should look um, in specific places to help sort that. But this kind of model for the body really has uh, a whole new way of thinking about ourselves that is not the usual muscles on the bones um, kind of model. So I'm going to give Cody a myofascia restriction at his right rib cage and armpit. And if you can already see, he's already having to adapt a little bit against this. Good. So now, Cody, go ahead and try to lift both arms up for me. And we're going to just, whoo, good. Okay. So can you see that his range of motion is restricted, restricted right now? Really try to lift them up higher, Cody. Okay. Now, drop them back down because, ow, that's not fun. Now, this makes sense, right? You can imagine how this is going to create this restriction. Did you notice what happened at his left shoulder over here? Uh-huh, yeah? So go ahead, lift both of them again. A fascial restriction here is causing some serious range of motion issues over here. Now let's drop that down, and I'm going to give him a fascial release and fix him up, and now, woohoo, yeah. Did you notice him kind of move his neck? That can, is not comfortable in the neck either. I'm going to give Cody a pretty severe myofascial restriction at his right hip. Good. Now, first of all, can you see how Cody has started to kind of develop some interesting posture? Good. Cody, try to lift your arms for me, please. See where the restriction is? It's even worse than before, by the way. Did you notice that? And then drop the arms back down. Now, Cody's going to attempt to walk with this myofascial restriction. So we're going to go for a little walk. And he's going to walk a little bit interestingly, right? Okay. And we're going to back it up so we don't fall on Dr. Rob. Good. In the next session, del taller que estoy dando de conciencia corporal, vamos a explorar juntos más sobre las fascias, el movimiento, las articulaciones y cómo todo este concepto de biotensegridad dentro de la biomecánica va a apoyarnos para mover nuestros cuerpos de una manera mucho más organizada, lo cual aplica padrísimo para quienes hacen disciplinas artísticas, corporales y por supuesto 
es súper valioso para todos aquellos que se dedican a la salud. 